Oh, what's up? This is Lois Flynn. I'm Brooke, and I wanted to give you my experience with the new C43 Stop Tech Brake Kit. Um, this is a new kit for them, and it's pretty good. So, but first, let me give you a, a little background on the car. Um, it's an AP1. I've been tracking it for about three years now. Um, she's about just under 2,800 pounds with me, and it's stock power, just intake and exhaust, and then I run 200 treadwear tires, 245 front, 255 rear. And uh, currently on the RS fours, so not not too nothing too crazy. Uh, when I first started tracking the car, I purchased uh, you know the obvious stuff, some more aggressive pads. I was running Hawk Hawk Street Race compound, um, racing brake fluid, and I replaced the front rotors with some two-piece Stoptech Aero Aero rotors. And then uh, yeah, I was running like that for a little bit, and I was cooking rear pad, so I decided to get Urge Design's uh, vented rear disc, and then I added some some brake ducting to the front, and this worked really well for where I was tracking, which was Southern California, so I was at Button Willow, Streets Willow, and then every once in a while Chuck Walla, and yeah, it was working, working pretty good, and then my job brought me out to Dallas, and um, actually in the transition period there, I put on some spoon monoblock front calipers, Mostly just to replace the uh, old ones, and you know, add a little bling to the car and, and take a little weight off. Um, and I tracked it with those, and it didn't uh, didn't really give any performance gain. Just more or less those things I told you. And um, yeah, so I ended up living fairly close to Eagles Canyon Raceway, which is uh, anybody's familiar. It's very hard on the brakes, and for the first time, I was out there with that setup and I was getting fade within five laps. Um, I was going through brake pads about every 80 or so laps or just, just under 80 laps actually and you know a, a two-day weekend I'd have to replace pads in between the two days or else I'd be metal on metal. So it's just it was just getting crazy with the amount of uh, pads I was using up. Um, so I knew I wanted to get something with more thermal capacity so I wouldn't get the fade and then something with a lot longer service life was also a requirement. So um, I, I looked at what was on the, the market and I didn't really like anything that I saw, at least for the price. Um, you know, Brimbo kits, there was that race kit was like four grand or something like that and it was just too much. And So anyway, I didn't see anything I liked so I actually was going to call up Stop Tech to build a custom kit. Um, and I was going to use the STR43 caliper and do just some special thing and hopefully they would help me spec the kit. And then Brad at StopTech actually informed me that they made the C43 kit and it was pretty much exactly what I was looking for. So yeah, I went with that kit and uh, let's talk about what the kit is I guess real quick. Okay, so these are their new C43 calipers. They're similar to their STR43 calipers, only they are lighter. They're about four and a half pounds. Um, you can see all the extra machining. And they are anodized opposed to painted. Now the rotor is um, a 309 millimeter diameter and 32 millimeter thick. So here's a comparison between the new rotor and the stock size. Um, and the interesting thing about this rotor is that they use little pillars to connect the braking surfaces opposed to curved veins or straight veins like most rotors use. And these rotors weigh about 11 pounds per side. So here's a comparison of the stock pad versus the stop tech pad. Um, as you can see, they're quite a bit thicker, a lot more pad volume than the stock pad. Here's a couple of shots of them installed. Overall, nothing special to note on the install. Went together quite easily. Um, everything was fit well and had a nice finish. Um, the lines that they come with seem very high quality. And they were able to clear my wheels um, just barely with about two millimeters of clearance on my Advan RS2 uh, 17 by 8.5 plus 51 offset. Oh, so how did these perform on track? Well, right away I could tell that I had a firmer pedal feel. I was able to modulate the brake a little bit better. Um, during threshold braking, I wasn't getting into ABS as much. 
So they're they are working really well. I log data every time I go out on track. And the first day back, I dropped two seconds off my lap time. I saw 0.15 g, about 0.15 g uh, decrease in all the braking zones. I was braking later in some spots. Um, so they, they really did improve over the setup I had before. Um, if you take a look at this plot here, this shows my D cell across uh, my two best laps before I had before the brake setup, new brake setup, and with the old setup. So. So yeah, if you look at the, the red line, that is my old setup, and the blue line is my new setup. And you can see the, the peaks and the deceleration are much higher in the, on the blue ones. And it seems to be about a 0.15 average increase in decel. So there are a few things that I did notice that uh, maybe things to consider. Um, they, they come with any, you can spec the kit with whatever brake pad that they offer. So I went with the SR33, but there's a lot of options that you can go uh, with different companies because it's a common pad shape. But they come with their stop tech pads, so I chose the SR33 pad. And they, they were pretty similar to the street race pad that seemed like for uh, coefficient of friction, so I chose those. And they're quite noisy, like on the street and stuff. I do drive this on the street every once in a while. And I will say the, the, the rotors are floating rotors, true floating rotors, rotors. So they do click a lot at low speed. So the brakes can be quite noisy. Uh, I don't give a shit. I, I think it's kind of funny when I pull up next to people and squeaking and clicking like crazy. But um, yeah, so those are things to consider if you're gonna drive on the street a lot. Yeah, so I have about 90 laps on these uh, brakes so far, and I've maybe at most worn 5 10% down on the pads. So service intervals will definitely increase. Um, yeah, so if you're looking for a good, a good kit for your track car, I definitely recommend checking these guys out. Thanks for watching.